the movie Lucy, where Scarlett Johansson gets access to all of her brain, leading to superpowers, is starting up the do we only use 10% of our brains debate? I heard it wasn't real. Really? Yeah. I think it's true. I think it's rubbish. I thought it was true. So then, how much do we use? 25. 100%. 20. 32. 32? That's a good one. Probably 10. Maybe 50? 50? What are you basing that on? It feel, just feels right. <laughs> if we're not at 100%, what's all that leftover brain doing? It's just inactive. Just files of memories. A lot of people's brain is uh, addled with alcohol and degenerative. Uh... So, so there's 10% of brain and the rest is like a martini and pudding? It's probably dying. You hear that? Our brains are dying. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Jones, and welcome to Debunked, where we expose fake viral stories. The origins of the myth are a little unclear. It seems to come from several places, including a wrongly attributed Albert Einstein quote. However, there's no shortage of scientists ready to debunk this one. Citing brain scans, psychology work, and the fact that even slight brain damage can have major effects on an individual. So the answer is, we use 100% of our brains. But that doesn't mean we can't guess what we'd be capable of if we were able to Harness untapped brain power. We would all be Stephen Hawking like. New inventions or creativity. creativity. Yeah, yeah, more creativity. Moving oceans. Moving oceans. Yeah. Is that something you want to do? Yeah, why not? Big superpowers. <laughs> like what? Uh, time travel, flying. I think we could move stuff without touching it. Like oceans. Yeah. Like <laughs> oceans. And then we'd finally be able to blow up the moon. This has been debunked. <laughs>